Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ringside Beer Show. Uh, it's me and Hector, episode 59. Smooth had to go take a fat dump, so he won't be here for uh, this episode. <laughs> Typical white man. Oh, Hector, what? What? Don't like work. The, hey. Letting the Latinos work instead, he just gets uh, to chill at home. He benefits off of us, huh? <laughs> of our work. <laughs> Anywho, how are you guys doing? Pretty good? How you doing? I, I saw you, um, you're not in your usual seat. Well, you told me it's a better aesthetic if you sit on this side. Oh, is that what I said? That's exactly what you said. That You were like, so. dude, Smooth is not here. I want place number one. Can I go sit over there? I was like, I guess, man. I'm I mean, sure. I, I mean, that's not even true. Anyone that knows me knows that Hector doesn't like being number one. One, too what? much responsibility. <laughs> Two, too much responsibility. And three, too much responsibility. Aren't you a manager? I probably do that as good. I really do that good. What you mean? Oh, uh, just playing, man. But uh, shoot, we have a lot to get into this episode, so let's get right to it. Um, tell the fans where they can get some ringside beer. Okay, so here is my first time telling you guys where you can get your re- ringside beer at. Um, ringside beer is available at McGrath's Irish Ale House, Evie's Tavern, um, Food and Beer, and also TotalWineAndMore.com. Yes, and many, many, and more many, places. many more. Apparently, there you can get them at. Lynch's Pub and Grub, Gulf Gate Food and Beer, Cork Cigar Bar, LLC, Truman's Tap and Grill, Sarasota Food and Beer, Champions Pub, Shamrock Cafe, British Open Pub. That's a new store, apparently, from what it says on here. Mm-hmm. Ed's Tavern, Miller's Sarasota, Ale Hugh, Joyland, Fuzzy's Taco Shop, Fuzzy's Taco Shop, good. Food and Beer, American Legion 30, Sarah B, and Tamia Tap. Dang, good job. I did horrible. I'm getting fired after that. <laughs> you were telling me before we started rolling, you were like, dude, I'm going to mess up all these days. I was like, yeah. it's all right, uh, man. No, it's all I, right. I want to I try some of those fuzzy well, tacos. Well, hold, uh, also, not only that, we have Blood Orange that's just dropped as well. You Ooh. guys tried it out last week. Yes, sir, and that was fire. Yeah, and that's also available in uh, downtown uh, Sarasota, some of the locations we mentioned. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's everywhere in Miami, so... Well, it, not that's only that, we have some huge news. We can't drop it at today, but it is, you're going to be like, what? Once we hear about it. I haven't told, I haven't told anybody about it, but, um, Are we dropping Russ, in California? huh? No, <laughs> not, not the California thing. Um, the, uh, it's big in Florida though, Oh, but I, I can't announce it yet. Oh, I can't announce anything. All right. Hey. Oh, but go get some ringside <laughs> beer in downtown Sarasota. Any of those locations go. we mentioned, right guys? Yes, sir. All right. Um, all right, so you, before we started, uh, recording, Hector had mentioned, um, oh, hey, you got those costumes in, uh, they're off to my left, but let me tell you about them, right? So you knew what my idea was, right? Let's see, Squid Games reveal. Okay, so it was a yes. baby announcement, and w- I had ordered, a, it was going to be Squid Games, I was going to be the front man, my wife was going to be one of the soldiers, and um, my kids were going to be the players, player one and player <laughs> two. And my wife was going to hold a onesie with like a player three, right? I was going to Photoshop everything together. And then um, I was going to I was going to tag it. Like I was already marketing this, right? I was like, I was going to name it. I was like, hey, welcome to the Mario games. Uh, plot <laughs> twist. Uh, player three has been added, right? That's I was like, dude, all right. Fire. Oh, yeah. Fire. So I went to go get all these costumes and they came in so late they didn't come in time for halloween because that's when we want to do the announcement right and i go on to the official site of squid games i'm using air quotes because i'll get back to that official site of squid games you can get official merch and all this stuff so i go on there and i order the soldier costume and my costume because uh they had the whole gears everything for a bundle and it was like all right a hundred and something bucks whatever i'll buy it ain't no big (laughs) deal it comes back after it comes in early November sometime, right? And I'm pissed when I open this up. Why? Cuz I never seen the front man have eyebrows in his mask. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> and his oh. his raincoat was just oh. pure fabric. My I was God. just pure fabric. So I took advantage of and they had the cojones, dude. They had the squid game balls to email me and be like, hey, call e- email us back. We're a small company and let us know if there's anything wrong. I was like, you know what's wrong. You know exactly. You knew what's wrong. That does not look like the front man whatsoever. Oh, so really. um, 
So I was just kind of like, oh, man, what am I going to do? Well, to be uh, fair, the guy in the the mask on the show wasn't even plastic. His was actually made out of crystals. So you couldn't even tell that there was eyebrows on it. Or no. Uh, but so, no, what I'm saying, you, there, well, there are replicas. Like if you go yeah. on Etsy, there's fans that have made pure replicas that are like around 40 bucks for a mask. Like you, yeah. can, you can legit find them. I just thought I had found the <laughs> Squid Game official <laughs> website. So I go back on the website Guess what? It's shut down. Gone. It's shut down. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god! I just felt like it just got violated right now, bro. I was oh, like, what? It just man, happened. It's like, so, um, what's it called? The uh, get it on Wish app. Oh, dude, to, I know. <laughs> oh, that I, sucks, bro. So I, so it is yeah, what it is. Well, it is what it is. Well, but you know what? Like Bob Ross says, happy little accidents, right? The, yeah. These things happen. So at least you have a costume for next year, Halloween. No, I'm gonna give that away. Uh, and I have, I have the soldier costume for Sam, just if she ever wants to wear it. For I next will year. take that. Dude, it's like a small dude. No, I'm talking about the mask. Oh, bro. the mask. Oh, yeah, you can have that. Hey. Um, so, like, you know, like I said, Bob Ross, happy little accidents happened. So, what was the next idea? We were thinking, I was thinking of, like, how am I going to announce this baby announcement, all right? Yeah. And everyone's like, my wife, uh, Sam, she was like, hey, why don't we just take the kids and go take, uh, you know, go to the park and take some basic, you know, photos. I was like, I'm not basic like that, dude. I, <laughs> I'm a little extra if you have not noticed. All right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> with Especially with my photo shoots, because you knew how, how much I take my time with my photo yeah. shoots and all that stuff. So I was like, no. No, that's no. I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, what do I go go do? I get more costumes. I go to Amazon.com. Old, old reliable, reliable Amazon, huh? Old reliable, old reliable. <laughs> and I order. So that I ordered a night before Christmas costumes for everybody. There you go. And it kind of fit the theme because the three kids. I'm like, well, I'm gonna have three kids. Yeah. It kind of fits within the whole theme. So, yeah. uh, me and Sam. I was Jack Skellington. Sam was Sally. And here's the first one. I designed the poster for a, like almost just kind of like a Christmas event poster. Yeah. Uh, the Maria's Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, you know, did the little mountain. Everything was painted by hand in Photoshop. Like the aesthetics, everything around it. Yeah. it you know, there's no photos or nothing used. Um, the costumes I got. The only thing I got off of Google, and I don't know who made this because I had a vision of making myself look like a real skeleton, and I only found one other person who kind of did this mask. And I morphed it around, uh, edited, and put my own spin on it. But uh, oh, yeah. had no idea who made it, and uh, I made it look realistic, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can tell. But uh, and then Sam was, I do it. It took forever to turn her blue and everything. So, <laughs> so that was the first post. And then the next one, we, uh, you know, we took it together. It's the same image, but we kind of like photoshopped it together. Yeah. So it's just us making an announcement, and it's her and her baby bump. Yeah. There you go. And uh, the third one was the real the kids holding the uh, the onesie turned ah, red yeah. for uh, what was the kids? So it's lock, shock, and barrel. And barrel, yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's I don't know. You who got the mask from Amazon too. Yeah, I got the mask from Amazon. They they were at Hot Topic. I got mad because I was like I could have got those at That's Hot funny. Topic, but uh, <laughs> but I, they're still dope. there right now. They're still there. You can go get them yeah. at Hot Topic, but uh, I didn't think they were gonna be there because I got these around early November, oh, okay. right after I got those these ones? these. Yeah, bootleg yeah. squid game costumes <laughs> but i guess it kind of worked out because i don't know how people would have reacted like oh my god you're gonna put the kids in a squid game poster <laughs> you know so it kind of works out i mean you know how i, I don't even want to say it but you know how soft sensitive people yeah, are now. people are very 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 sensitive this time of year so like all year actually now yeah i would have loved it that should have been dope yeah i would have loved it i think i would have made the headlines it probably would have gone viral to be honest uh, this one was cool. This is more like a Disney thing, but that's what I did. You know, I liked it. I think it's more your alley, though. Your it is definitely Nightmare, more my alley. Nightmare Before Christmas is more. Yes, alley. I could have even seen you do Beetlejuice. So that's the next one. So I have <laughs> three three shoots coming up with the with kids. Uh, Sam probably hates you. No, Dude, actually, just have a normal. One. If anything, <laughs> you, I know, right? She's like, "Oh my god, I wish a normal <laughs> husband would just sit there and ignore me." But I'm sorry, all right. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, I the next one I'm gonna have is when the baby comes, and uh, we're gonna be Adam's family again. We did the first photo shoot, like the poster. Remember yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. poster? Yeah. But this one, we're gonna. I'm gonna buy the um, puber onesie and maybe put like a bow a white bow on it <laughs> so it'd be the girl and then we're yeah. all gonna be adam's uh, family yeah, again but i kind of want to do the whole family as an adam's family character and just compile big old uh panorama, panorama. image and just have it in the living room just be dope just 
Just oh, everybody. Damn, that'd be like that'd dude. be sick, right? Yeah, that'd be sick as hell. So then not only that, I have the Beetlejuice one. I definitely want to do. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, and then I want uh for Mia because she's she loves this movie. Uh, Coraline. That's a dope movie. So I figure we take off all of our eyes, put some buttons on there, yes. and make it look very puppet ish. That's a dope movie. You know, I think that would look dope. Yeah, that would be sick. Have you seen it? Yeah, I, dude, oh, okay. Mia is I, like I've seen it from start to finish. I don't even know how many times. Yeah. I don't even My know. Niece how is many into that movie right now, and she, is she? I don't think she should be watching it. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of kind of creepy, but she fucking. You loves know what? That movie. There's oh, there's it's creepy, and then there's that weird part. I'm oh, sorry for that. Uh, there's that weird part with that the hefty woman, the <laughs> the uh, the, fat lady? the healthy, very. Overly healthy woman, I guess you say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to say it, you know, for YouTube sensitive people, but, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know what you mean. But you know what I'm talking about? I was like, yeah, wait yeah. a minute. What does this part have to do with anything? <laughs> and it's just like, I, I always kind of skip over that part. I was like, I don't want to <laughs> see a claymation just kind of jiggle all over the place. I just thought that was weird. You hey, know? man. You know how long it takes them to get something I like know. that done? Who thought of like, hey, you know what? I got some fire idea. Can we put somebody that could be craned out of bed on here and just be <laughs> jiggling all over the place? Yeah. That, that was funny. What you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just thought hilarious. it was weird. But watching it with the kids, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, appropriate. But whatever. It is what it is. Ah, come on. It is what it is. You know what else it is what it is? Dude, did you see this breaking news today? Which one is it? Let's get into some current events, man. Which one is it? Which one's the one? Uh, I don't know. Was it? No. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the one we need. No, <laughs> that's not the one I want. I don't want to hit the wrong button. I know we're gonna we're gonna play a song play for song. like half an hour. Uh, oh, I'm so, so disappointed. Right. So now. breaking news was it? Tommy Fury yeah. is pulling out of the fight. So you want to read this? Uh, Tommy Fury has pulled out of our fight due to a medical condition, in quotations, and Tyrone Woodley is stepping in for the December 18th official, for the official rematch. And that was a tweet from Jake Paul. Uh, no mames. Now, here's, <laughs> now here is a, a statement from Tom, Tommy Fury. Yeah. Um, I am absolutely heartbroken that I have been forced to withdraw from my fight with Jake Paul due to a bacterial chest infection and broken rib. The beginning of my camp was going so incredibly and I never expected anything to come in my way from a victory on December 18th. I can't express how disappointed I am and really, and I really do hope that we can get this fight rescheduled in the new year. I want this fight to still happen more than anything. Now, and this oh, is the uh, poster. This is the poster <laughs> of uh, Leave No Doubt. Now, Jake Dude, Paul said, it I, th I try that one. <laughs> All right, so it's the green. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> all right so you can't be that close to the buttons now <laughs> sorry um leave no doubt so everyone thinks that you know some people think tyron woodley won the last fight um i didn't think so tyron woodley was definitely holding back now if he has a second second chance now do you think he's going to be holding back even he better not hold that you better you better not better right throw those hands from round one to the end of round one and knock them out in the first round. I think I think they're better. I if I I don't know. I don't want this fight whatsoever. It you don't. Just, you don't want to see want, it. No. 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 I'm I kind I kind of want I kind of want to see it just to see if Tyron Woolley will do anything different. Um, but Jake Paul says, "Hey, you know what? I'm glad this fight's gonna happen. I could finally knock him out. What I should have done in the first fight." Uh, I just I don't I don't really don't want it. I don't care. You don't care. I really don't care for this fight. This is the no. banger that's gonna no. happen uh, in two no. weeks, man. No, I'd rather have hyenas. Dude, eat this my is some some hot hot heat right no. here. I, again, I would rather have. Piranhas. This is a bowl of pasole and a pasole on a Sunday no. No. morning. I, you know, I would rather have piranhas eat my eyeballs instead of watching this. Man, trash. That's super graphic. All right, I don't care. <laughs> it is trash. I, don't, I know. I don't care for it. Well, you know, this is the Hector episode. Let's continue the bad <laughs> news for a second. So I was, oh, did you see this too? Triple G. Uh, Triple G's fights got postponed, man. I feel like that this is going to be the Hector episode with the bad news all day yes. on it. So you want to uh, read this? Yeah. Uh, the December 29th middleweight title unification fight between Gun Gennady? Gennady, Gennady Golovkin and Ryota Murat. Tahas has been postponed. Has, I know. I just watched okay. the last minute. Has been postponed <laughs> due to the new COVID restrictions in Japan. That prohibits foreign visitors in the wake of the Amicron. Amicron? Omicron. Omicron. What is that? Transformers? 
Uh, source tells at Mike Coppinger, the plan is for the about to be rescheduled for the next year in Japan. Why still have it over there? Why just make, make it back in the States That's where things are open? Well, maybe because then the other guy might not be able to come back over here either. You don't know, uh, how, you don't know how the restrictions work over there. But yeah. Omicron? Dude, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it sounds like a transformer. I know, seriously. I mean, like they. they, they when was this? When did this? When did the new "quote unquote" variant get announced? I felt like they I announced know. it, and they were like, and everyone was like, "Who gives a fuck?" You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like people just start making up these lands I, out of nowhere. Like, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a bummer That's we don't get funny. to see the Triple G fight. It was supposed to happen at the end of the year. I'm like, dude, we were we had so many good fights happening. I know, especially the Tommy Fury fight. Come on, yeah, come know. on. That sucks. So that that really sucks. That would have been a great way to and end the, the year. Yeah, we'll start the year. Start the year. Yeah. The we'll the end of the year. We have some good fights. Hopefully, nothing happens <laughs> this weekend. But anyways, Shut let's up. continue on with the bad news. All right. <laughs> Kevin Lee released from the UFC. Now this kind of just came out of nowhere. Okay. Um, this got released a few days ago, but. Uh, according to Lee's manager, Marquel Mart- Martin, the 29-year-old had multiple fights left on his contract, but the UC elected to terminate the agreement. Lee is currently serving a six-month suspe- suspension from the Nevada State Athletic Commission for a positive drug test of amphetamine. However, the suspension ends on February 28th, and the substance is not performance-enhancing. And then continuing the quotes, so Kevin Lee on being released from the UFC, he says, I found out through email. That was kind of the worst part about it. I didn't really have the proper notice or even get a phone call about it. Honestly, that's the, the what pisses me off the most. The lack of respect. Uh, I know, so, I know. Who is Kevin Lee? Ke- oh, my Sorry. God. <laughs> Sorry. So, Kevin Lee coming up, he was a pretty big prospect. He he trained in uh, Mayweather's camp. He also trained in uh, other Mayweather, uh, other MMA uh, camps as well. But he was uh, he's a big name coming up, willing to fight everybody, right? Okay. Lost to, uh, then towards the end of his career, he started losing quite a bit. Okay. Um, getting submitted. Um, he would do really well and then, like, freak something. He, We'll lose a fight, right? Okay. Or lose a split decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something, some things like that. So it really hasn't been going his way for the past, I would say, two, two to three years, maybe. Uh, I would say closer to two years. So, you're but he was a huge prospect coming up, huge prospect. So, and uh, he was at one point, like there was talks about him fighting McGregor. Okay, but this was this was when McGregor was like on fire, right? <laughs> yeah. And okay. it just it didn't work out. As things, you know, for me, I felt like. Um, he was really close to his coach. His coach, pa- his coach passed away, and ever since then, he kind of been trying to find himself, like uh, trying himself. Yeah, yeah. So try to find himself. Try to find himself. I don't know why yeah. I'm slurring right now, but <laughs> too many punches to the head. But um, yeah, so ever since then, he kind of it seems like he's been trying to find a camp or trying to find that spark. It, it, that's what it comes across to me. Okay. Right? Uh, that might not be it, but ever since that happened, yeah, yeah. he hasn't been the same. Okay. So, continuing that, um, Kevin Lee on advice for younger fighters. Now, like I said, he did uh, fight anybody anytime they call the UFC call him. He's like, yeah, I'm down to fight. Um, he tells people, cherry pick like a motherfucker, you'll get further that way. Does that mean like pick your fights? Yeah, like cherry pick. Instead of tipping yeah. the hard fights, instead of saying like yes to every fight, like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, pick this one. That's easy for you. Pick that yeah. one and get the wins. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Well, I thought that was uh, funny, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it makes sense. I mean, what would you... Oh, you want to fight every single time. You know, you want to, you know, just pick random fights that you know you can win. I guess. I don't know. because I, so, I, so is the UFC pretty much cutting their losses with this guy since he's been having like a really... I guess so because there's not that much... Uh, <clears throat> it's tough. It's tough to say because Kevin Lee does well and then... But I don't see him getting to that title shot. Like he will always be a contender. I would say he would always be like, like... a mid-card? I would say you'll so. Be, like, I don't want to say it like that, but, like, I would say, like, man. he's top tier, but he won't. He won't ever you, be top five. Yeah. No. So, mid-card is pretty much what he is. He, he's, he, always, he is always going to be sixth or below. Never be top five is what it is. Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're sugarcoating it. Sugar I am sugarcoating it because I, li- I like Kevin Lee. Yeah. I like uh, well, the Kevin way Lee, he... I don't know you, so I'm just going to put it out. Like, half. how he promotes... Like, you know, he was the other... Um, flashy guy. The other, um, he like like to talk smack. You know. Yeah. Um, 
you know what? Let me just for entertainment too. I did like it the way he fought, um, but you know, it, did, it, it hasn't been going his way. Has lately. he ever fought for any belts at all? Uh, or even come close? He did come close, but I mean, all right. So the closest one I would say would be I would say he fought for a belt. I would the. Uh, Oh, the hard, furthest, the first one I would say he fought. Uh, he fought uh, Ferguson, Tony Ferguson. Oh, okay. When to- for- Tony Ferguson was like on fire, on fire, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then he also him as well. He's on, kind of been on the losing streak yeah. of things. So well, I mean, it is what it is, man. It's stuff like that happens. I know it's just tough. It's, it's just, just tough. tough. Yeah, and especially I think UFC is really really hard to get into rhythm once you lose. No, like, so that, so I can talk about that. I could talk about that because uh, it the UFC is very cutthroat. Yeah. Very cutthroat. Yeah. You get in, you're good, and then they'll kind of chop you, chop. Well, here, here's my. Uh, well, yeah, okay. If they, if that's the case, then Conor McGregor should have been cut a long time ago. No, or at least not so, cut, but at least they won't cut him because of the amount of money he will bring in. Yeah, he but brings. What would you want to pay someone that keeps losing? It doesn't matter if he loses or wins, as long as the uh, the the viewership is still there. That's fucked up, then, because. No, I mean, dude. Even all right. So let's say, um, God, name a name a fighter in boxing that has lost quite a bit, but that still is a draw. Oh, dang it! It's different because boxing, you lose one or two, and you're considered like uh, washed, washed up. up. Yeah, MMA, exactly. you can lose one, two, three, and you're still considered. Yeah, that's like, the difference between boxing. You can lose one. And that's it. To Anthony Reese when he when he won against jo- uh, Anthony Joshua, he beat him. Face of boxing, all this and that. Then uh, second match, uh, second fight. And then he was just and old then he's, news. Poof, old news. And then, but then he win his last fight. Yeah, he did though. He did, but he's not gonna be. He's gonna have to win at least a couple more before he gets to that championship. I'm trying to think to who fight, who too. in boxing is a draw. Okay, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. Yeah. Okay, Manny Pacquiao has many losses on his on his uh, on his on record. His record. Yeah. On his record. Uh, well, not many, but he is a, a big name. There, you will still see people buying a Pacquiao fight just because he's Pacquiao. Yeah, but he has more wins than losses, though. He doesn't have that many losses. Yeah, but Conor McGregor still has more wins than losses too. <sighs> but what I'm saying is, like it's nothing. the it's the draw that yeah, people yeah. want to no, go see. You, you know, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that. I feel bad for him, but yeah. what's what's even worse? I felt like the salt on the on the wound was. Uh, you know, Bellator, they asked Bellator, like, hey, Kevin Kevin Lee's a free agent. Uh, we're good. We're good with our roster. I was like, oh. oh wow. Oh, Scott Coker. What? Really? Yes. So. so, so I, mean, I have to tell you something about the guy then. I don't know. Uh, well, he did test positive for a substance. Obviously, it wasn't performance enhancing. So, I mean, there might be other issues going on with him. Mm, probably. Maybe. Um but it, it was kind of tough listening that I mean because he's still really good. I'm just it was just kind of tough that uh, Belter didn't want to take him. Maybe he'll go to PFL. Maybe bare knuckles and bare knuckles paying way more, you know, for the fighters to fight there. Oh, yeah, they have no rules or regulations. I mean, yeah, they, they do. They well, still I mean, they yeah. still have to get te- sanctioned. you know sanction and stuff. Yeah. Um, but right now they're just in Florida, and I think they fought once in uh, Tennessee, I believe. Damn. There yeah. You go. But it's, I mean, it's a growing sport, and uh, I don't like it. Yeah, I know it's actually too brutal, to be honest. Yeah, it's too. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the, uh, the Paige Van Zandt in the other fight. That show. Oh, was Rachel Ostevich. Yeah, that was dope. Well, and then, I love that one. But and then uh, I, I, I don't like it. It's too much. Oh, too what's brutal. her name? Britain, uh, Britain Hall. I think the the fighter that beat, um, uh, she just fought Paige Van Zandt beat her, and then she oh, fought. Um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Uh, the Gonzalez girl. The Gonza- yeah, Pearl Gonzalez. Yeah, the, yeah, I like it. I like when girls fight in there, but it's just too brutal. I don't like it. You don't, you don't why? Oh, it's just no, oh, no, it's too brutal, man. That's that's why. Is it, okay, that's so you like much. like when the girls fight, but you don't like it when the, the no, guy. I don't like it in general. I just liked it when Paige Van Zandt fought because she's hot. But, she's hot. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only way the reason I watch. It. I I don't watch anything except for that one fight. I haven't seen it since. It's, just, it's too brutal, bro. That's, I can't. Like, I like I like boxing. Don't get me wrong. Boxing's dope. UFC's dope. But you just boxing with your bare knuckles. That is, that's that's I mean, that's on another level. I don't know. I mean, that, yes. that that can cause way more damage than. than oh yeah, they, they just had one fighter pass away. I mean that that sport it has to be maybe I'm being generous. Maybe three years old. Right. Yeah, it's been more. No. I'm sorry. Right, so when when did the uh all right, so Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao. Happened in 2017. No, six. 
No, 2017. Yeah, yeah because uh, when yeah, when years. my poster went viral, it was 2016 yeah, or something. Yeah, like that, so yeah, 2017. And the why I bring that up is because Polly Malinaji, who trained with McGregor and got dropped or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, fought Artem Lobov, who's in McGregor's camp. Okay. And that was the big Super Bowl fight for Bare Knuckle. That was the, the coming out party for Bare Knuckle. Yeah. And um, Ringside Beer was actually sponsoring that event. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember right. that? I remember that. So yeah, Artem Lobov, if you guys check it out, he's rocking the Ringside Beer around his neck. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Um, so I want to say that might have been 2017, 2018. So <sighs> 18, ago. 19, or yeah, 18, 19, 20, maybe 21. Yeah, maybe four years. Dang, maybe really? four years. Maybe four longer. years. No, dude, that's it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you already have one death that happened. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to keep on talking yeah. smack about that. But <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's go into some fight recaps. We had three events that happened. What were you doing? <laughs> Did I tell you to lay off the buttons, my dude? Sorry. I was just <laughs> you're a little happier over here on smooth safe. I was just trying to point the fact that I love this fight more than the boxing, but yeah. All right, so well, let's go into uh, the UFC fight night, Font versus Aldo. Um, do you want to hit your thoughts on it first or what? So, OG Aldo has come back from the dead. What do you mean he has come back? He's been back, dude. Yeah, I just felt like this was more OG Aldo from this, the olden days. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, kind I mean? of. Yeah. You know what's I, funny? I, I, I was talking to Jason and I was like, yo, uh, did we have a bet on this? He's like, oh, yeah, we did. You guys did, yeah. But, uh, for five bucks. But um, Font was the betting, betting favorite going into, yeah. into the fight. In the first round, it did look like Font was going to win. Yeah. It did look like he was going to dominate the fight. Um. But then you quickly saw that Aldo had the power. Font had the volume. Yeah. Aldo had the power. And then after that, once Aldo landed that beautiful straight right and that kind of popped a Font's nose, you could tell that uh, Font was a little bit more reserved. And when he went to the ground, you know, second, third, and fourth rounds, Aldo just dominated those rounds. Fifth round, it was kind of close, but I feel like Aldo was still, like, dominate, dominating that round. But you could give it to Aldo. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Font, man, but Font was trying to come back and trying to win that fight, man. It was so good, man. It was so good. Me and Sam <laughs> were watching in the room. We were, we we're actually, the kids were sleeping, and we were just jumping. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was an excellent I fight for that. Aldo. Um, yeah. Great fight. Loved it. He, uh, yeah, you know what? He's not old news. He's still really good in the game. Legend. Um, Font says that, you know, well, let's get into it. Um, post-fight, the whole deal says, uh, did Dillashaw's right there, so I want to fight T.J. Dillashaw. Ooh. I don't think T.J. Dillashaw wants that smoke, though. I think he does. I think T.J. He he Dillashaw wants a big Why name. He? Why? Just so he can get knocked out? I don't know. So this, What do you mean? T.J. Dillashaw? I just like seeing him getting knocked out. When was the last time he got knocked out? I don't know. Sometimes. I don't know. Eventually. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Pump the brakes, <laughs> boxing dude. Hold on. Pump <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did a little Ace Ventura there. Um, but, no, no. So, TJ Dillashaw, you know his what happened to him, right? Uh, so, he tested positive uh, for banned substance, really high-level uh, banned substance, and uh-huh. was suspended for two years because of it. Um, wow. He's coming back. I believe he it, yeah, I believe he did fight one time already. Did um, he? Yeah, he I believe recently. he fought, fought once, yeah, yeah, recently. And that was his first fight back. But... This will be a great fight for Jose Aldo because TJ Dillashaw was former champ in that division. Um, this could be this could take number two spot. Mm. And then you just see Aljamain Sterling talking smack. On the, I wouldn't say talking smack. It, you know what? You know what it was? You know what it was? Beginning of the fight. Aljamain Sterling, do you know who that is? He's that current, current champion. Oh, okay. Do you know how he got the belt? No. Okay, so Aljamain Sterling fought Peter Yan. Peter Yan was dominating the fight. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he was a former champ. Um, Aljamain Sterling losing. Losing every minute of <laughs> that fight. Peter Yan decides to, act like, I don't know if it was intentional, accident, whatever it was, knee him on the head while he, uh, Aljamain Sterling was down. You cannot do that. Uh, it's illegal. Yeah. When you have your, your, your hands, hands and floor. feet or yeah. your hands on the floor, yeah. So he gets kneed on the side of the head. Alderman Sterling oh, no. can't continue. <gasps> so by default, he wins the championship belt. That shouldn't even be fair. Right? 
okay, so he he himself during you know right immediately after you know during the fight was like you know come on crying he's like they're wrapping the bell he's like never expected to win the bell like oh, this oh I remember and then he posted remember? a video of it. With the bell, right? Drinking, cheering, and shit. Yeah, it's like he won yeah, the fight. You I remember, remember this? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Now I remember. So that before the fight, uh, so so before the fight, you know what's crazy? Because he he's really good too. But there's there's gonna be fighters that are just better than you, and that's what happened, right? Yeah. Um, nothing against Aljamain Sterling. You know he's a gr- he's a really good fighter. I think he can improve and maybe give good competition to Peter Yan. We have to see that. We have to see that. Yeah. But uh, it was. Bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> so he was tweeting saying, uh, LFG, um, Aldo Font, right? Right before the fire started. So it's like, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's let's yeah. fucking go, guys, or yeah. something, right? Okay. And I, I was telling Sam the story. I was telling Sam who he was and yeah. all stuff. And Sam was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, it is bugging me. Just that he's <sighs> commenting on this, like, oh, who wants it, right? Anybody can get it. I'm like, bro, give it uh, to the one who beats you. Yeah, uh, you won on a technicality. Game, exactly, exactly. That's just wrong. Now, I don't know. If you win the bell, you win the bell, right? Because then it becomes you're only in it the the game for so long, and you're in it to win money. So I see it from that aspect, right? Yeah. But they don't do the show and fucking cry. <laughs> they like, oh, I didn't win. Yeah. Like, fuck it. I'm like, yeah, all right, no, cool. You know, I won the bell. He's a he's a paper champion, not a, not a true champion. Again, so we'll you see. Won it on a technicality. Now, TJ Dillashaw and Jose Aldo, they, they fight for the number two spot. I would love to see whoever you know is going to fight. Aldo may something for that. Or, you know, Jose Aldo could go in there and win that fight. He could. Just, just I saying. would go for Jose, uh, Jose Aldo on that fight. Yeah. Hands down. But let's keep on, get back to it. Uh, Rob Font reacts to Jose Aldo loss, and uh, he says, the guy's a legend. He's tough. I feel I can, I feel I can beat him, but it just wasn't my night. Hats off to him. I know for a fact this will make me better. So good to him, man. He can take an L. He can take an L. Yes, sir. Better than Tafima Lopez. Now, oh, I, you know what? I, I don't know why. I had a feeling you were going to bring this up. It wasn't my current events, but it happened like almost a week ago. Um, that he had uh, a air pocket on his chest, I believe, and they a bunch of doctors came out and yes, said that sir. he was he could have died that night. Nah. Shit. I would have felt like shit, dude, if that was that was the case. I was like, dude, over here talking all smack. You you want to know what I was gonna say? Uh, even yeah. even Jack Scaling, yeah. even Jack Scalington, yeah. he says, "I'm out, Hector. I'm yeah. out. There's too much bad news going yeah. right now. It just sounds like excuses to me at this point, uh, dude. But there was doctors saying that. Then why didn't you say before, a week before? How long has he had it? It for? just came out. So after you the can't podcast, just have an air pocket in your lungs. And they not. saw it after he went got sent to the hospital. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying. Just go to the next team. Anything. Well, let's get back to some bad, more betting. As for me, Sterling over here reacts to Holti Also's main event win. He says he's still to, uh, getting better, still uh, proving he's one of the top dogs in this division. Ooh. He's a legend. He's done what he's done in the history books for a reason. But I do believe I have the tools to be every one of these guys in the bantamweight division. Now, I'm about to chuck my laptop right now because that's a whole bunch of uncooked baloney right there, you know? It just, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, there's one thing to talk shit I, dude, when, when you've done the work I, can, I but then there's another thing when you talk shit when you won on a technicality and that's how, you, that's how it is you know what's funny during the post fight interview uh did you see it or no no okay so i usually stick around for like another hour yeah. or so and watch <laughs> the post fight interviews and he was like say whatever you want about the my previous fight but all the other ones you oh, know good lord uh, you know what? Uh, we, you have to run it back with peter yen that's yeah. the fight and if you win does he not want it i don't I believe it was set up, and then Peter Yang got injured, and they had to pull out. So there was no fight yeah. to have. Okay. I think that's what recently happened. Um, I guess, you know what? If Jose Aldo recovers, uh, dude, his eye looked like it got oh, pushed back yeah, to, like... It, that looked gnarly. And it, it looked like this big, yeah, little, um, you know, eye socket, essentially. Yeah, it looked gnarly. Uh, it, it was brutal. But uh, if Jose Aldo recovers, give it to him. If not... Let Jose Aldo and TJ Dillashaw run that because that yeah. will be a great fight for the fans. Have it on the same card. You can, TJ you Aldo, TJ Dillashaw. And Aljamain Sterling versus Peter Yan. Yeah, have it on the same card. Oh, I would love that. Oh, Hector with the heat. You're yeah, bacon right now, my boy. 
Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Um, yeah, I would love that. I would freaking love that. Yeah. That fight needs to get settled. That fight cannot yeah. go, cannot get washed. <laughs> that needs to get I, settled 100%. Oh yeah. All right. Now, now for you, let's get into the boxing section, all right? CC. So this happened Saturday night. Uh, yes, Haney versus Diaz Jr. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you so, go on it. What do you think of it? Um, so again, this was supposed to be the Ryan Garcia versus uh, Devin Haney. No, Ryan Garcia versus Diaz fight, but he had to pull out. So Haney stepped in. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I thought it was Devin Haney. That's how yeah, that fight was no, already got was settled. The, no, it was the other way around. Okay. So, um, watched it. It went to decision, right? It went to decision. It was now, kind of lackluster. Honestly. Really? It wasn't I thought, that good. Didn't Diaz land a couple shots on? Yeah. And this is what was pissing me off about the fight. Okay. Diaz could have finished him off in any of the rounds that he was winning in. He, so Diaz could have won? He could have won. There was a round, was a seventh or eighth round, where Diaz caught him, clocked him clean. Okay. Wobbled him, knees buckled, and then he doesn't finish. Like, bro, he's he's dazed. He's done. Freaking throw your hands. Age out of the Tyron Willie buckle. Yeah, like, come bro, on. come on. This is some, that's what pisses me off sometimes, that, that you see him buckled you see him daisy was glossed over you can tell he was glossed over really and he did that would have messed up all the fights coming up <laughs> i know but i was like oh my god what the hell i mean david haney did enough work though yeah he was leading the entire fight so diaz needed a knockout okay and that seventh round was the only window that he had to knock him out because after that devin haney's defense is floyd mother-esque as well so. okay all so, right but out of this this fight out of the two fights this fight was my favorite i had to give it like a seven Seven, eight out of ten. Okay. So, not bad, not bad. Yeah, but it was good, though. I mean, I wish he would have done more work. I mean, he these two fights were pretty much showing off for Cambosos. You guys yeah. are pretty much showing Cambosos, hey, I'm ready, let's go. Yeah. Which I have a little statement on this. Devin Haining to Cambosos. Yeah, he said, let's do it. George Cambosos, I'll go to Jupiter if I have to go. Yeah, because they were talking about yeah. how, because I saw the post fight, he was, yeah. they were talking about how, um, Cambosos wants to have it in Australia, Australia, and that's when he says, I'll go to Jupiter Yeah, I have to. So, I mean, he did good. I mean, enough what? to impress Cambosos? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it just depends, really, to be honest with you. Now, we got your fight, your favorite fight that happened on Sunday. <laughs> uh, Davis versus Cruz. Now, this one, it's... Uh, f- all right, so... The, People thought Cruz won, and yeah. some people thought Javante uh, yeah. Davis won. Yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised if it went to uh, no contest. Really? Yeah, because uh, to be honest, oh, George Javante Davis fight was horrible. He was sloppy. how? How was it horrible? It was just sloppy, dude. Like I, w- I, I saw he kept I, on toward, trying to land the uppercut a toward, few times as yeah, well during the fight. Towards the end, I would I wouldn't have been surprised if either it went to um, no contest or not no contest, but it was a draw. Yeah, or if Diaz won. Or a Cruz one. Yeah. Because I, I honestly, I don't think Javante Davis did a lot in this fight. No? I mean, not to me, no. I don't think he did. I don't think he did enough to to push himself in front of the list for Cambosos. You know, he did. He just didn't do a lot of work for me. No. Um, the reaction in the, uh, I was going to say the staple Center, it's a Crypto.com arena now. Which <laughs> Did you see the pictures of I them taking it? I saw that. I, everyone's like, oh, LA, they took out the staple. I'm like, why would he change it? That's oh, such no. a, that's they such. They haven't really said why, though. They why? Just, all of a sudden, they just came out and it's like, okay, oh, guys, changing. to Crypto.com arena. Oh, uh, no. Crypto.com? Not even just crypto? I know. <laughs> like, it's not a website, it's an arena, bro. <laughs> Uh, it's like it, the Staple Center is so iconic. Why would you mess with it? I don't know. It's, Jay anyways, hasn't said anything about it either. So getting off topic. Anyways, yeah, they were at the Staple Center, sticking with that. Yeah. And Cruz was like, you know, hey, the fans are, you know, in here are screaming for a reason. They know who won the fight. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Floyd Mayweather post fight was saying that uh, you know what? Just like the Madonna fight, a guy wins three rounds. And uh, all of a sudden, rounds. you know, because they expect you to um, get the knockout and you don't get the knockout, they automatically automatically think that he won. I don't so, think he won three rounds, though. No, I definitely thought Madonna won the first fight, though, against Floyd. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, no, yeah. Madonna definitely won. That's why they had the rematch. Yeah. Everyone thought. Yeah, because everyone knew Madonna won that first fight. And in this one, yeah, I would gave Cruz up by one round. 
Really? Yeah, I had him on oh. one round, but then, you know, judges and whatnot. So, so Geronte Tank Davis says, um, All them guys are easy work. I'm the top dog. He's the top dog. <sighs> oh. Yo, okay. Uh, I saw this. You saw this? Bit, yeah. All right, hit it. So, hit it uh, Ryan Garcia responded to Gervonta Davis after the fight. He said, Gervonta, Gervonta gets away with fighting C level fighters. All the lightweights he's in, out of all the lightweights, he is the weakest. The toughest test was Leo Santana Cruz. Almost lost tonight. Bring it on. I've been calling you out for a while. Woo! And then uh, Ryan Garcia continues. He says, we all know Luke Campbell is better than all of, uh, all of Tank. Dude, I can't read that. So it says, we all know Luke Campbell is better than all of Tank's opposition. Tank can't beat me. Can't beat me. He knows that. And Mayweather knows that. I'm too fast, and I got too much a- accuracy. Come on, Mayweather. You can't protect him forever. <laughs> Yo. Dude. Yeah, now you want to see that one, huh? I've been wanting to see that one. Yeah, I know. That's like, the one I've been wanting to see But Ryan Garcia is almost years. ready, though. He's almost ready to come back, I right? I say, so if Lomachenko, and I know Lomachenko is going to kill it. I think huh. he fights this weekend, I believe. He's going to kill it. I know Lomachenko is going to be the one that gets that that fight with Kambosos. So he's going to get that regardless. You put Kambo, and I, I don't even think this is possible, but you put Kambosos, Lomachenko in one, Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis as the undercard. Well, we'll st- we still have to see what Lomachenko... Oh, no, Lomachenko is going to kill it regardless. I know he's Well, you never kill. know. You never know. Well, that's what I said about David Henney. I thought I was going to knock him out yeah. of the round, but... No, I think Lomachenko has a better shot than the other two. Devin Haney? Oh, yeah, uh, Gervonta Davis, you mean? No. Oh, Devin Haney. Oh, yeah, from yeah. the previous fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Lomachenko has a better chance than both those two guys. Uh, I mean, well, he's the rightful owner of that rematch, but, you know, he's the rightful Tef- owner then, of that fight. Yeah, and then Tefamo... Lopez lost the fight, so uh, yeah. And it then is. oh, it is what it is. Dream super match. You have Cambosos and Tefu- and um, Lomachenko as the main card. Uh, Tefimo Lopez and Devin Haney as the main, as the second, and then Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis as the third. Oh, dude, you know what? All I three w- of those dudes. I would love if boxing were to do that because then you're gonna be like sell it for like a hundred bucks a pay per view, and you get like three bangers. I would fights. pay two hundred bucks for that pay per view. Yeah, you would. I, I wouldn't. Would. <laughs> I would I would sell my leg and my arm for that pay-per-view. Maybe just like quarter of my leg. All right. For sure. Shut up. All right, let's get into <laughs> some fight announcements. These are some of the fights that got announced over the week. There was only like, I think, two fights that got announced. But uh, Blockowitz, former champ, yeah. uh, light uh, heavyweight champ versus Rockick. This Rock is going to be good. This is going to be a great fight. This is a UFC fight night in March 26th. Bangers? Bangers right here. Now, he did lose his belt recently to a um, uh, Brazilian guy. Um, the old guy. The old guy. Why yeah, am I the old guy. Definitely know who the old guy is. Of oh, course. Oh, my God. Yes. The old dude. Why am I drawing a blank? I don't know. You're the UFC expert here. I have no I idea. am drawing a blank on his name. Uh, uh, shoot. Does it start with an A? No, no, no. So I think it's a, a D or G. A D or a G? Is it George? Glover Teixeira. Oh. There we go. Glover Teixeira. I was literally <laughs> in my library of MMA going. Tick, 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 tick. I like how you look at me. I'm like, yeah, the old guy. Like, I fucking know who it is. It was recent. Yeah. It was just recent. Anywho, that's going to be a good fight. Uh, just right. Let's see if John can uh, come back from that L, which I think he can. This is more of a striking match. It, it won't be a jiu-jitsu match. So. Okay. Uh, next up, Amanda Rebus versus Michelle Watterson. Finally, we get her back in the cage. Um, Michelle Karate Hottie Watterson. Oh, that's that. That's her. Yeah, oh, okay. I worked on her uh, Fight Mom um, documentary. I did the poster for it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's All right. right. So well, I'm excited to see her come back. How long has she been out? I feel like she's been out for a while. Oh uh, shoot! Her last fight was with um, Polish girl um, Joanna Jonjacek, I believe. I oh no 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 really? no 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 that wasn't it. I'm guy. I got her mixed up. Angela Hill. Her, uh, um, her and Angela Hill had like a f- huge fight of the night. Okay. Um, it was a great battle between both girls, and she just edged the win. Okay, okay. So that was a great fight. That that should have been like a. Now I wouldn't say a fight of the, fight of the year, but it was definitely up there, top top, top ten. Top yeah. Ten. Okay. Yeah. Nice, All right. Nice. Now let's get into the fights that are happening this weekend. 
Now, we have two. One's free and one's on pay-per-view. <laughs> so the free one, we have Lomachenko versus Kami for the lightweight, a lightweight battle yes, on sir. top rank. <sighs> Please don't disappoint me. Now. Please. Now, let's see what's going to happen, right? Let's see. Let's hope. I'm hoping. So it's. Lomachenko comes with that thunder and Kami <laughs> comes with that heat. You know what I'm saying? So this literally is like the domino effect. Whatever happens. I this know. This fight is just like whatever. Uh, don't it's, jinx it, my dude. It's Christmas. It's got positive thoughts here, my dude. <laughs> positive thoughts? I have all positive I thoughts. I hope I hope Lomachenko I hope wins, Lomachenko man. comes in freaking um, Creed style. Oh, no. Um, Creed style? Creed he style. loses, bro. What are you talking about? No, not Creed style. Freaking um, Born. Uh, the last one. The very last one. It was just called Born where he doesn't really talk that much. You ever no, seen, no, you ever no, seen the last one? No, no, no. <sighs> There's a scene, the opening scene where he just literally walks up and he's like in this fighting ring or whatever. He walks up, boom, decks the guy and just walks back out. That's what I want him to do. Oh, okay. As soon as All the right. bell rings, just walk. Don't even run. Just walk and just go. Ding, Some uppercut. forces can't be contained. Burn, burn, burn. I really looks like a, like a Mortal Kombat poster. I like it. Though. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, All right. And the big one, the big pay-per-views Ooh. this weekend. Charles Oliver oh, yeah. versus Dustin Poirier is the main event. Co main Let's event go. is Matt Nunez versus Valentina, uh, not Valentina Shashenko, as Juliana Pena. Do you have her on your mind or what? You know That's what? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want to see that third fight happen. That's Champ versus Champ. Okay. Matt Nunez can get that third bell or Shashenko can, because a lot of and people thought she won the first fight. A lot of people thought she won the first one. Yeah. So, anywho, uh, Juliana Pena. Now, I don't know who's going to win the main event. The co-main really? event. Well, dude, really? honestly, all right. So the main event, obviously, I'm going for Poirier. Okay, I was gonna say I was, but, but I'm not counting so out. So Oliveira is very, very good on the ground, and I'll, if he gets Dustin Poirier, he's ex, uh, Oliveira is very good with the submissions. He's extremely good. That's what a lot of people are counting him out. Not saying that okay. he doesn't have knockout power either, because his last fight, the way he won the the title, he yeah. got it by knockout, knocking out Michael Chandler. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like he doesn't have knockout power. But he's at very, very good on the ground. Extremely well. Okay. Um, I'm not counting him out. I'm not going to write him off and be like, oh, yeah, Dustin Poirier is going to win this super easy. Yeah. You it's going to be a battle for sure, though. It's going to be a battle. Um, but I'm giving the edge to Dustin Poirier. He has fought, he's fought tougher competition. Yeah. And um, when it comes to the striking, I believe he will land there before Oliveira. I don't see. Um, yeah. But we'll see, man. I don't know. Which, but so this is the thing: as the, if the fight goes past the second round, I believe it's Dustin Poirier's fight. The first two are kind of like a toss-up because I don't know what Charles Oliveira can do in the first two rounds because he the, the fighters are going to be dry, and if he tries some crazy ass submission, that might be it. You know? Okay. But I am leaning over Dustin Poirier okay. to win that one. All, All right? right. Good. The co-main event. This one's a tough one. Not saying that, like, all right, so how would I word this? Uh, Amanda Nunez has been so dominant. Okay. Right? Yeah. Most people will be like, Amanda Nunez all day. Why are we even thinking about it? Why are we even discussing it, right? Yeah. Okay. Why I think... Oh, damn. A Pena, all right, so not saying that Pena's going to knock her out. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But you think she's going to win? No. I don't, but if people really? are, this is the thing. People are writing her off so much where I'm like, man, she has nothing to lose. And if you do not know who Julian Pena is, you're kind of, that's what you're doing. You're writing her off. What is it? The seat? Is it my monotone voice that makes people yawn on that chair or what? I don't know. Yo, that. you and smooth <laughs> just fucking yawn on that chair every single time. Oh, well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect. I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake. Um, Julian, <laughs> Julian Pena, uh, she was written off and the Ultimate Fighter. She was picked last. No one thought she was going to win. She won the Ultimate Fighter. She yeah. beat everybody in the house. Goddamn right. So, and this is the thing: when she fight, she fights top contenders. She does lose. She lost her last fight by submission to um, uh, Ronami or Durant. Ger uh, Duran, Duranami, I believe her name. Duranami, I think. I don't know any of these UFC names. Okay, so <laughs> so Duranami, and then um, she did also lose to Shevchenko. 
Okay. I know that one. With Shevchenko came a very close fight to Nunez, but this was years ago. Yeah. I don't know, and uh, I don't know who's going to win. I can't. I don't know why. I'm like, I don't want to count her out. Yes, everyone's going to be like, oh, man, Nunez all day. And I agree with you. But Pena, I don't know what it is. Maybe because she was the first girl who reposted my artwork. I don't know. Maybe maybe because <laughs> I'm super biased like that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, man? Oh, uh, well, I don't know nothing about either one of these ladies. The only thing that I know is that man, didn't Amanda Nunes beat uh, Ronda Rousey? She did. Thanks okay. for putting the salt on the wound. Yes. That is the only thing that I know about her is that she beat Ronda Rousey, and I don't like Ronda Rousey. I don't. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't. Oh, man. Ronda sorry. right here. Do you, so, did I ever tell you that story when Ronda Rousey lost? So you knew you knew Ronda Rousey would repost my work, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so years ago, uh, for people that don't know, Ronda Rousey would uh, repost my artwork to promote her events. And um, I was not just one or a few. It was a quite, a, quite a few graphics that I would do. Um, well, anyways, I, I, Ronda Rousey is my girl. I still, I still, you know, mess with Ronda Rousey. And the Holly Holm uh, fight happened. Like, until this day, I still rock with Ronda Rousey. All right, so if you hate me for that, whatever. Bounce. <laughs> so, uh well, all right, so we're watching at my house. My brother was going for Holly Home. And obviously I'm running around yeah, all, day, all day. Yeah. All day. Till this day. Okay. <laughs> my brother gets up like he fucking did it or something. Like he fucking knocked her out and was like, Oh <laughs> my God, look at what's up. He got in my face, bro. Look at if like me and you are sitting next to each other. Yeah. He's getting up. He jumped up and like was like this. Uh, and bro, bro, bro. <laughs> I was in shock already. My heart was <laughs> fucking ripped out of my chest. And I was like, bro, I, I, time stood still for me. As he's jumping up in my face, fucking right hand cocks back. You got to tell you something. Come here. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> I slapped the shit out of him. Down, down. I came down on it like this. <laughs> You did not slap your brother. No, he slapped me. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, he slapped me. I'm in pure shock, <laughs> looking at the TV. Fucking almost a tear coming out of my eye. He's screaming at me. Oh, I'm like, damn. Like, I'm like, what just did I just see? I'm like this, and then bam, I get a smack. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> just say it. I'll just. What was that? Oh, to man. this day, till this day, I always bring that up. Louis, I'm like, bro, I know, Louis, funny. bro. Louie, man. That is hilarious. Okay, so here's a little notes for uh-huh. if you guys want to bet on the fight on FanDuel. Okay. So here are the odds for the Amanda Nunez and uh, Juliana Pena fight. Uh, Amanda Nunez is minus 950. So she's oh, my favorite. God. Juliana Pena is only a plus 590. Oh, what do you mean? That's still good money, dude. I, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, but I mean, you could put fifty bucks on there and, and win yeah. 250 so, two hundred fifty, two hundred, two to two hundred fifty to three hundred bucks. Yeah, Somewhere so there. method of victory. So Nunez by TKO or KO is minus one forty five. Yeah, that's what most people think. There, yeah, uh, she's gonna knock her out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so Nunez by points is plus four sixty. G- give me Pena by submission because I can <laughs> see that happening more than anything. Oh man, you want to see the pe- Pena by KO or TKO plus twenty two hundred? Oh my god, you almost want to just put a hundred bucks on that. Just because Pena by points is plus twelve hundred, and then Pena by submission fifteen plus fifteen hundred. So I mean, yeah, stack everything stacked. Dude, if you Pena. put a hundred bucks, you get a thousand five hundred dollars of Pena submits yeah. her. Now, yeah. is that gonna happen? I don't know. But if I were to say Pena's gonna win, it would be by submission. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Obviously, Pena uses a huge favorite. Yeah. Julian Pena's when she fights top contenders, she just doesn't get there. Looking, and I'm not saying recently. I don't know what she's been doing recently. Yeah. For all the Pena, you know, people that rock with her, um, I'm just looking off her previous fight on UFC.com. Look at her history. Yeah. When she fights top level contenders, she just doesn't. It doesn't quite get there. That's a- but <laughs> she's the only one who called out Manny Nunez. Man, that's in her favor, huh? You think that's in her favor? 
No, you know what's funny? Uh, so it's funny because Julian Payne was like, oh, Amanda Nunes is, is scared to fight me. She's been ducking me. Uh, and Amanda Nunes, did you see this part? Yeah. Where she's like, she's like, she's like, bitch, are you delusional? Like, you, like <laughs> she's like, she's like, you, 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 have, you have to win a couple fights to be even get on my radar. You're not even a contender yet. Oh, man. Oh, I was like, oh, saw the wound. Dana Jesus. White met, said, he's like, dude, Julian Payne is the only one calling her out. I was like, damn, well, you got to make a fight then. Might as well. So with that being said, oh, you know what? One more thing. Um, okay. So uh, Dustin Poirier, his defense throughout his entire career, and like if, uh, like you said, if it gets taken down to the ground, yeah. then it's over. Yeah, yeah. But his defense on average is uh, 61%. So it means it's really hard to take him down and to the ground. Yeah, of course, it'll be a flip of a coin, though. It depends on his opponents. Well, I mean, how good is Oliveira? Extremely good, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's coming from like a jiu-jitsu background, dude. Is he better than uh, Anderson Silva. I'm just throwing. I, I, uh, uh, well, Anderson Silva's old school. <laughs> uh, Anderson Silva was more of a striker. Comes back from like a Muay Thai background, but yeah, yeah he's also grand, uh, you know, good Admiral, at jiu-jitsu, yeah, black belt. Um, yeah, dude. No, it's well, it's going to be a battle for Dustin Poirier, regardless. Yes, I it's going to be so. good. Really uh, where are you going to watch it? Online. Here. Here. You want to come here? Yeah, okay. All right. Sweet. I got nothing else to do on a Saturday. All right, guys. Well, dude, we have, like I said, I told you before the podcast started, this is going to be a juicy one. There's going to be a lot of content on here. Damn. We're almost at an hour, guys. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. Enjoy the fights this weekend. Remember, guys, get some Blood Orange, some Red Ale in downtown Sarasota, Florida area. Soon we'll have some big news coming out. And uh, enjoy the fight, guys. Until next time. You won't see me here next week. Be shut. You need to shut the fuck up. That's what I'd do if I had a little army. I would shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. All right. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> you didn't say the be ringside thing. Be ringside, all right? There you go. <laughs>